Hi, Love Warriors. It's day 29 of 30 Days of Love Warrior. And this is really bringing it full circle for I, something that I really see Glennon stands for to this day. And we're on page 231, if you're following along, where Glennon is starting to teach the children about her concept of God. And we're really going to be diving into what our main job is on this earth, in my humble opinion. <laughs> so she says, every week I sit with the children of our congregation and I tell them about the God of the bathroom floor. I tell them that Jesus's way is love and that there are plenty of folks screaming his name who aren't following the way and that there are plenty of people who've never uttered Jesus's name who are following the way of love beautifully. I teach them that faith is not a club to belong to, but a current to surrender to. I teach them that they'll know they're in the current when they are becoming kinder and gentler and more open and grateful, and when they feel constantly carried toward people they fear, so they can fall in love and stop being afraid. I teach them that the two most repeated phrases in the Bible are, do not be afraid and remember. Our human family is dismembered because we have been taught to fear each other. To have peace, we must allow love to bring us back to each other, to remember. I promise them that we are just scattered pieces of the same puzzle. So when we hurt each other, we hurt ourselves. I explained that my idea of heaven is the completion of the scattered puzzle, but I asked them not to wait for some otherworldly reunion. I asked them to bring heaven to earth here and now to invite the kingdom of God today by treating every last one of God's people like Ken. I tell each of them, be brave because you are a child of God. Be kind because everyone else is too. We belong to each other. I teach them that they are loved by God, wildly, fiercely, gently, completely, without reservation. I promise that there is nothing inside of them that they need to be ashamed of. I become a megaphone for the still, small voice that was drowned out so early for me, the voice that says to each of us, you, you are my beloved. I made you and everything you have ever been or are or will become is already approved. Nothing you can ever do will make me love you more and nothing you can ever do will make me love you less. That is finished. So stop hiding, stop waiting, and come now. Just get up and dance with me. Every time I look into a 10-year-old's eyes and promise her that she is good and loves, so she never needs to go underneath to breathe, I know I'm also speaking to my 10-year-old self. Don't hide. You are safe here. You belong, precious one, after all. Do not be afraid. Remember, this whole concept of do not be afraid and remember, those are huge. I think that so much of our human experience is learning how to live with our fear, of learning how to have a relationship with it, and realizing that it's always going to have a chair at the table. And realizing that that's part of our humanness of experiencing fear and self-doubt and that self-judgment, right? And so that's where the other part really comes in is to remember who you really are, to break yourself down to your true essence, that your job here is not to be who the world is telling you to be. It's who to be who you've always been and to remember who that person is. So this concept of do not be afraid and remember that in and of itself, like that's the answer to so much. So that's where we're diving in today in our journaling prompt. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our last day of 30 Days of Love Warrior. Bye.